thought I played good match regardless of what just happened. I mean, obviously she's a tough opponent, knee or no knee, so I'd still have to fight for my own. I still have to serve well, which I thought I did when I had to. And, um, you know, it's unfortunate because I really enjoy playing Serena. It's someone you don't get to play very often. And, you know, this tournament's made for it. So it's a bit unfortunate, but um, hopefully her knee's going to be better so she gets to play Australian Open. Uh, no, I, when I got here, I got sick, so I was trying to catch up the three days I spent in bed. So I think I just hit a lot of balls and just a little bit tired. And um, I think I hit one with a frame, so you know, and like rings through your arm. And then so I figured I might as well get a look at it just for in case. But it's nothing, nothing really wrong with it. Just tired. What did you make of how Serena was moving? She seemed to be struggling on her left side. Did you? Yeah, it's the knee. I mean, I saw it a little bit. She kind of was joking, like, thanks for not making me move much. But, um, you know, she had to obviously pull out the first first match. So there's a reason for it. And I'm sure the knee, it's, you know, it's not her first time that she had a problem with it. So, you know, just tried to play whatever I could. And she tried, but it wasn't good enough, for, unfortunately, for the knee. Oh, she, um, well, I played IPTL, so she was on my team, and look, I've been playing for 15 years. I'm a very good friend with Venus. I wear her clothes, so I'm friends with Serena, so I haven't seen her since IPTL. She was supposed to come earlier, but then I think she had some problems with her knee and things like that, so I just tried to, I haven't seen her much yet, except the party when we tried to catch up, but you know how it goes, so... Of course, we're gonna say hi, talk about her new earrings, and you know the girly stuff before the match. Nothing too serious, really. And um, kind of decided that we should do dinner. Pretty much, that was the last thing. <laughs> you spoke to her after the match. Yeah. Did she say anything about the injury? Um, she's not sure. She just said that she's been struggling, and I don't think she thought she could play. That's why she walked on, and she didn't want to not play again. Um, so she was hoping that it's gonna get better. Maybe it's gonna warm up a little, and. But there is no point considering that there is still a you know Australian Open coming up, so it's, I think it was a smart decision to kind of finish it. She was, she was such a force in tennis last yeah. year. Do you kind of oh, sense that? She's always a force. She's gonna be forced for a very long time. Yeah. Just because she had a bad knee now, it doesn't mean anything. I mean, you saw her. She didn't play for a while, then she comes here and wins Australian Open just like that. So it's honestly nothing major. She'll be just fine. <laughs> yeah. It actually was, I must admit, it was a little bit surprising considering I was playing Serena, who is always the crowd's favorite. And to hear the cheer when they said my name or when they, um, when I was winning the first set, it was pretty special. And, and I close to tears just because it means a lot. And we don't get to play very often in, at home. So when we do and we get such a crowd and support and also playing with Leighton, it's with my new name, it's just like, the great start to the year and honestly it's been fantastic so far so no matter what's going to happen for the rest of the week it's uh, I think a very good start it's a great event and I think I'm just very excited to be here and hopefully Leighton is going to have a great time as well. Uh, he actually is not because we are 15 hours uh, opposite tight um, but my mother and father-in-law and my dad and I'm pretty sure my brother is too he watched it from the plane the, my first match uh, he actually bought the, you know, online. So actually watched it on his cell phone, which was really funny. But they are all very excited, and he was kind of proud that people start calling me Wolfie by now. <laughs> thank you, thank you, not a problem.